Receiving the Achieving the Dream Scholarship, it was very, very a proud moment for me because it was like, wow, someone really believed in me and said, look, you know, we believe in you so much that we can fund your school. At the time of that I applied for the scholarship, I was already in my second year of my master's program for school counseling. And then I graduated this past July. Mr. Dinger, this is Ms. Sanchez and Guidance. Right now I am the school counselor at DuPont Middle School. My role um, directly is to work with students, parents, teachers, administrators, so it's with everybody pretty much in the school. I love working with kids, especially the age group that I chose to work with. I work with them directly with any issues that they have academically or like I said, social, emotionally. Primarily my focus is the success of the students. Right now I'm also the ESOL contact, which means that I work with our population of students who speak English as a second language. At our school in particular, we have um, our highest population in Spanish, but we also have Burmese, we have Arabic, we have people from all around the world. So we try to, you know, keep it you know, having flags. And usually, like in the morning, you'll see the students gathering in the front. When you first come in, you see all the different welcome um, signs in different languages. So the dual language academy we have here, um, it's pretty much half the day they'll teach the students in Spanish, the other half their classes will be in English. I think my parents have had the biggest role in my education. They've always been my number one supporters, my number one motivation, because they didn't have the opportunities that I had. You know, when they came to the United States, they had to work really hard. This is Sunny. It's my dog. He's 10 years old. It's just been such a motivation for me to want to go to school and want to, you know, do something with myself so that I can give back to them one day. Just being part of the school has been great. Everybody that works there that I've met so far has been just wonderful, very welcoming. <laughs> Anytime I have a question, because they know I'm new, they always, you know, are don't hesitate to help. Every time I need something, I know that I can count on my coworkers. A year ago, I was writing about what my dream was, and now I'm, I'm living it. I went to community college to study graphic arts technology and then I moved on to uh, UNF to study graphic design. I also do freelance photography, so I do a little bit of everything, from graphic design to photography, web design. Good luck to you, man. The Gay River Run, they have a submission for logo ideas, so I submitted that idea and I won. I came from uh, Columbia when I was 12 years old. I graduated from high school in New Jersey, and then after high school, I joined the Navy to travel, and I was able to do that for almost three years. I traveled all over Europe, so that was, that was very good. After the four years, I got out to just dedicate myself to work and go to school to concentrate for that. I was out for almost 10 years, and then about four years ago, I decided to go back into the reserves. How are you doing, man? Why I like it, it's probably the, the family aspect of it, because everybody becomes your brother and your sister. No matter where you go, you're always going to have those people taking care of you. We'll be uh, deploying to our next mission, which will be in Africa. And we'll be leaving for almost seven months, and we will be back sometime in April. We're going to be doing some harbor patrol and security for that area with the Navy and other countries' navies. I found on the U.S. Navy um, a way to pay back the country has given me so much in the last 20-something years that I've been here. Are you ready? I came here when I was little and my whole life has been in America, so I still love Colombia. I do a lot of things Colombian, but I'm also an American U.S. sailor. I'm always proud to say that. Ed Perez, actually he used to work in CSX, he called me and told me, Oh, you got a scholarship. So I was super happy. I can't believe it. This is great. I don't have to work two jobs. Maybe I can like concentrate more in the school. So that was a big help while I was doing my undergraduate studies. It meant a lot to me because it was coming from the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And I was uh, pretty new in this country. So I say, wow, this is really the country with great opportunities. It was fantastic to be a recipient. I did a double major, international business and marketing. I feel very passionate about marketing. This is my floor. 
This is where I work. I like business because I like the negotiation part. I like the selling process. I like to talk to customers, uh, create that relationship, cultivate that relationship to be able to deliver a good service. Did you get that report I sent you early? Now I work for CSX in the marketing department, Intermodel. I work as a customer service coordinator. Mainly I handle the international accounts. I'm very passionate about this job. I like the fact that I can talk to customers and come up with solutions. And then it's going to be moved to the port. I really like the commercial side of the business in CSX, and that's what I was ambitioning for when I was studying business in UNF. This year, actually, I got selected for an associate development program that CSX do, and it's a one-year training where I select a subject and I can learn more about that subject. So I actually selected the Divergent Markets Department. Working here is just like being with a family. I mean, I'm here like eight hours, nine hours, so they become my family. This allows the train to be slowed without using the train brakes. I feel very passionate giving back to the community. The philosophy here is not only delivering a great service to our customers, but it's about giving back to the community, CSX, help in different areas, veterans, cleaning the roads. So I feel great to be here. I'm planning to be here for the long run. I felt that I had that desire in my heart to help people and um, nursing would be a good channel in which I could do that. That scholarship helped me afford my tuition to be able to graduate from nursing school. I was excited that I was able to get this scholarship that I would have not had otherwise if I would have not been Hispanic. It reminded me of my culture. It reminded me of my hard work, my parents' hard work. It made me very proud of my Cuban heritage and how far I was able to come. Huele rico. Tengo hambre. I was the first generation in my family to be able to go to school here in the United States. I know that I would have not been able to do it alone. I think that my parents play a huge part in how they raised me up. I mean, they taught me how to never give up whenever I was faced with a challenge, but to face it and go forward. Even today, they help me like make my meals. My mom prays for me in the mornings. I feel like it's it's a teamwork that uh, really like helped me succeed. I graduated from Jacksonville University in May 2015, and right after that, I applied to a nursing position at Wilson Children's Hospital as a new graduate nurse. Now I work in the Children's Emergency Center, which is also known as the Pediatric ED of Wilson's. It was great because I was able to combine the passion of working with pediatrics as well as learning more of emergency medicine. High five! I believe I'm very blessed to be able to have that kind of opportunity every day. I wake yeah. up and I thank God for it. It's just, um, it's just a dream come true. Mm -hmm.